Curtin Darling, you have the floor. And President, today I abstained on the EU Singapore FTA, as I did at committee stage. While I recognise the strategic importance of our relationship with Singapore and the ASEAN region, and concerns about the liberalisation of our public services have been reduced thanks to the use of a positive list, this is a missed opportunity on labour rights. Trade agreements are a key means of setting the rules of the globalisation game, and the Singapore FTA sets that bar too low. Even at the 11th hour, Singapore hasn't fully committed to ratify the core ILO conventions, providing the most basic of rights. Meanwhile, labour rights activists in Singapore, like Jolivan Wam, face tough justice fighting for rights for the most vulnerable workers, migrant workers. Today, I stand with him and I call for substantive change and not more rhetoric. Thank you. To the investment protection agreement between EU and Singapore, and Ms. Kitten Darling has the floor. Thank you, President. This investment protection agreement between the EU and Singapore will only benefit those who have already benefited the most from globalisation. It will create new privileges for multinationals in 16 EU member states and fails to remove the privileges that already exist in the other 12 because it provides special access to justice for foreign investors. It directly attacks the fundamental principle that we should all be equal before the law, no matter how rich or poor we are and there's no economic argument to support it the Commission has never been able to demonstrate any link between ICS or ISDS and investment flows because there isn't one another way is possible the argument that you need ICS to eradicate ISDS is disingenuous as the German bilateral investment treaty shows I fundamentally object to any kind of privileged justice for multinationals, and I've therefore voted against this agreement today. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Kitten Darling. That's an end of the explanation of vote on the Martin recommendation. We now move to one explanation of vote on the Lopez Igaturis vote, and it's Mr. Kitchuk who wishes to take the floor. Thank you, Mr.